Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training. Today we'll be learning about ACL. ACL is called as Access Control List, where in ACL we'll be learning how to define permissions for each users. This is a user level permissions. We can define permissions for a user to access a file one user to access another user's file by default on home directory of each user is being restricted to access another user's home directory so that's the reason you will not be in a position to access any of the other users files so let's see how do we provide permissions in this context by default ACL is installed on CentOS or Red Hat 6 so it's very easy for us to go ahead and define the permissions so let's go ahead and do it now so I have a virtualized environment which I'm running CentOS operating system you can either use CentOS 64-bit or you can also use Red Hat environment. The first important thing is right now I have two users. The first user is Unix services and I also have another user by name Krishna. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a file under the user Unix services. Unix services home directory. I'll open up the shell. If I type pwd, I'm right now under home Unix services type ls so I don't see any files here so first I'll create a file by using nano I'll say test acl dot txt I'll write some data save this file and now I'll close this and log out of this user and try to log in as another user called as Krishna and try accessing this file the file which we created under the home directory of Unix services user so I'll just get into the home directory and now I'll try to act get into the users home directory and I can see that you'll get an error message permission donate and now if I try to check the file name which we created test ACL txt still we don't see we do not have any permission so first thing is how do we provide permission for that user to access the file so now we need to become a super user and now get the permissions so I'll just say get FACL and now I'll get the permissions of the home directory
Unix services. And I see there is no user who has access for this home directory. So what we'll do is we'll just set an execute permission for the home directory first to access the contents of that directory. So I'll use set facl dash m to modify u for user what user unix services is the user now krishna is a user who has to have access to that file so we'll type user krishna wants has access to execute permission of home unix services and now if we use the same get facl command we can see user krishna has execute access and the second thing what we have to do is we have to provide permission specifically for that file which we created so now if I type I'll just retype the same thing same command recall the same command and I'll give the permission of read write for this file and now if I check the permissions with the help of get facl I see the user Krishna has read write access to this file so now let us check now I'll exit out of this user so now if I type who am I I'm user Krishna now I want to access the file so I'll type cat home unix services still we do not have access to this specific home directory but do we have access to this file we do have access to this file because we gave read write permissions do you see so let's try to write some data into the file and check so I'll use nano now and now try to add some contents and now it has successfully saved the contents since we have read write permission so this is how you define an ACL permission the next task is how do we remove the permission so we can use a switch called as dash X option so we need to become a super user once again and we'll say set FACL dash X home unix services user
Krishna. So now if I use get FACL and get the path and see uh, what permissions does it hold and I see that only the owner of the file Unix services has access other than that there is no other user who has access so this is how you remove and add permissions using ACL thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead